Hello and uh, welcome again guys. I hope you feel uh, uh, more confident with Selenium uh, WebDriver after previous training. Today we'll be looking into how to create a simple CRM uh, test script by uh, using a simple CRM open source application, my TCRM, where we are going to perform a login activity, verify the uh, successful uh, message of the login and uh, then perform a logout. Let's visit a little bit uh, my TCRM site and let's give uh, these guys a little bit of credit. Uh, it my TCRM is a free and open source CRM software. You can definitely download it from here and install it on your machine or I guess that you can just uh, use their demo online section here good I have it installed it already on my local machine and the activity that we want to perform is to do uh, a login and then verify the successful uh, message supplied after login as well as click on logout and then just close the browser for this I have already created the project in uh, uh, in the IDE, in the Eclipse IDE I've uh, of course uh, attached reference the um, Selenium WebDriver libraries like uh, shown in the previous tutorial and even I have added the code for your reference here and we'll just go step by step through it so you will be able to do it on your own piece uh, later on. So first of all I've just declared the variables that I intend to use that will be the username and password as well as the URL. Username will uh, come here, password of course in the password section a URL is the URL where we need to navigate in order to open the application. Then another two variables, the uh, login message expected and the login message actual. This will be the messages here, the one that we found and the one that we expected to find and we'll make a comparison between these two okay now we are definitely giving values to the variables created above we'll give uh, the username the required value the password the required value the URL where we navigate the required value we already know the expected message that we want to find after login mind the extra space in front of it there will be a string to string comparison and if you don't include this space you might get a failure we will create definitely the Firefox driver object like shown in the previous tutorial and navigate to the URL from this point we'll need to identify the objects for the uh, username, password and the login button. These are of type web element as well as the logout link and the successful logout message the object itself, right? For the three objects on this page we can do that identification at this step. The other two we can do it only uh, later on when uh, we will come at that point with, uh, um, with the activity. Otherwise we'll get an error message as the object will not be found. Okay, for the identification um, I have used the find element by xpath method of uh, my web driver object initially uh, defined 
and I'm depositing the result in the username text variable for the username in password text for the password object and in login button for the uh, login button itself how I was able to find the X path needed for this identification I'll show you a simple technique if you right click on the uh, object that you want to get its X path and then navigate to inspect element with Firebug provided that you have Firebug installed and uh, as, uh, as, as well as uh, Firepath as shown in the previous uh, uh, tutorial you'll get the right description of the HTML object we see that it's of uh, input type and it has a name login so if you navigate to Firepath and create a valid XPath structure so we said it's an input right an input type of object and it has a name equal to login we can evaluate our sentence here and we see that login is uniquely identified so in this way I have successfully identified these three uh, web elements please go ahead and do your identification if you don't have previous XPath uh, experience uh, don't worry there will be a, a following tutorial on how to identify objects different type of objects using different techniques including XPath if you have previous uh, XPath experience <laughs> even better of course okay after identification we'll need to use the above objects for username we'll need to send uh, keys the username variable itself for password we'll need to send the keys the password value of course and then finally we'll need to use the login button and send a click to it using the click uh, method of the web element class after performing the login we'll need to uh, look into verification of um, the successful message as well as uh, performing the logout the successful uh, login message once again a uh, web element of a web element type uh, we can identify it once again using the X path so please go ahead and find the uh, um, object that is holding the successful message and I identify it with um, a find element by X path and supplying the X path inside using the same technique as above for logout link once again we are using the X path and you can go ahead and do that identification the only thing that you will need to be extra careful is that they are different type of tags this is a a which is a link uh, this one is a td right a cell in a table a login button is a button and the other two elements are of input type and after identification of these objects we can already extract the text found after the login message right and deposit it into a previously defined variable which is login message actual by way of using the get text method so in other words after defining this successful uh, login message object we can uh, use the get text uh, method and extract the message found there. After that, we need to compare right the actual and the expected message. Well, the actual and the expected message can be compared using the assert 
class uh, by way of um, the method assert equal and we'll just supply the uh, login message actual and login message expected variables that we have already defined and the next step we just need to click logout link and then the browser will close so we can go ahead and do a run right and see how it goes okay it went quite well there will be just one note that I would uh, like to propose for you especially e if you are um, still uh, a beginner in Selenium WebDriver and that will mean um, when you're using new type of uh, classes please um, import the needed libraries right you'll definitely need to have these libraries imported here otherwise you'll get some exceptions from um, the ID and that's it for now good luck and see you for the next training session bye bye